Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at something which has been kindly sent over by IPPS, Innovative Paint Protection Solutions. Uh, now these guys specialize in, uh, well the clues in the name really, paint protection solutions for uh, the Minis, the F56 certainly, uh, which we're checking out in today's video. Also the, uh, I think they do BMW as well. They do paint protection solutions. Now the biggest uh, sort of paint issue on the F56, which has been around since day dot, since the F56 back in 2014 when it was released, and it's the door shut. So I'm sure you guys know of the issue. I'll show you in a second where it actually is. But when you open the door, uh, the bit of rubber, which is just here, um, it's actually quite hard. It's quite hard rubber, and it actually wears away at the paintwork. Uh, any of you guys have got an F56 out there, check it out i'm pretty sure even on new cars uh new f56 f56 you know the latest ones you're going to get this issue uh, and i'm surprised that bmw or mini haven't uh, addressed this situation uh, under the paint warranty i think you could potentially get it done but for people that have had cars you know since 2014 i very much doubt uh that the the paint warranty is still still effective so this is what you might want to take a look at so in this video i'm going to show you uh what you're going to get how to apply it and yeah in an ideal world uh, you'd want to obviously get the uh the area resprayed sort of prepped and resprayed uh, in today's video i'm not going to sort of do that i'm going to apply these i'm still going to prep the area i'm going to apply them correctly as per the instructions we're going to have a look to see how well how well they install so I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what you get in the in the package if you order them. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so excuse the Johnson's baby shampoo. You will need that to do the install. Uh, but in the, in the package, this is a package that you get. It's in a little uh, cardboard envelope. So inside, I'm not going to turn it around because it's got my address on it. But inside, you get a little uh, instruction guide, IPPS uh, logo, details, innovative Paint protection solutions, you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, there's all your instructions there. And then also you get included and you get your two pieces of PPF. So PPF stands for paint protection film. Uh, it's essentially a film uh, which goes over the top of uh, the paintwork and it protects it. It stops the paint from getting scratched or damaged. Uh, people sort of usually put this on when a car's new. Uh, it's an expensive job to do but in the long run it, it will protect the paint so you can see there's two sides to this you've got a shiny side reflective side here and on the other side you've got a matte side now on this one you would peel back the matte side um, you'd apply your solution which I'll, I'll show you how to make in a second um, and then you liberally squirt the you spray the solution on the back of the PPF on the panel and then work it in um, cut is really really well done as you can see and it's got like um the surface feel it's almost like a it's not rubber but it's like um it's almost got a soft feel to it so this as far as i'm aware is a self-healing uh ppf so if it does get scratched uh, i think you can heat it up uh, with a hairdryer or, or something like that or even in the sun maybe and it should heal uh heal itself so uh, i mentioned uh, we're going to be need to use johnson's baby shampoo now the reason behind using this is it well number one it makes a a slick solution so you can spray it on and you can move the the ppf around to get the fitments uh, correct but it's also uh, got no oils in it or anything like that um so it's uh, it's good in that uh, respect as well so you're going to want to dilute one part johnson's baby shampoo to 20 parts water uh, into a spray bottle so i'm just gonna i'm gonna make that solution up and we're gonna get to sort of prep in the area and we'll get this uh, ppf installed okay so the actual area affected uh, is this rubber here so it's quite a firm rubber seal now when you shut the door this makes contact with this area and as you can see i'm actually suffering from uh paint sort of removal there it's taking the top layer of the well the top coat off the clear coat and we've also gone down uh, taking the top layer of the paint off and that's a primer underneath as well so any further with that that will take the primer off go into the metal and then we'll start to uh, and then, then then that will start to rust so i'm gonna use a detail kitchen secret ingredient and just spray that on the surface now that will strip down any surface contaminant 
uh, oils, anything like that. And that will allow us, well, that will give us a clean surface to, uh, to work with. So you're going to want to make sure basically this area here is all clear of anything. And then uh, this will go on there like so, like that. So I'm going to set the camera up. I've got, I've got my solution all made up. Uh, one part baby shampoo, Johnson's baby shampoo, 20 parts water, and this is just our slick, uh, sort of a slick coat, slick solution. Um, I've just put it in an old uh, bottle. So I'm gonna set, set the camera up and I'm gonna show you what to do. You're gonna wanna take your piece of PPF, uh, the side, so you're gonna line it up, the side which has got the matte solution on the back. So that will go something like that. That will go something like that. So step one is liberally spray the area with the slip solution. So again, this is this is baby shampoo and water. Uh, baby shampoo contains no oils, so it will dry clear with no streaks. So you're gonna to wanna to take the backing off, try not to make contact with the glue side, the side that's got the adhesive. Spray this side liberally as well. And we're gonna line this up. Like so. And now it's just a case of working out any moisture or the solution. Ideally you're meant to use a squeegee but unfortunately I don't have one. And once you've squeezed, squoze, squeezed out all the solution, the glue will activate and adhere to the surface. So we don't need a heat gun or anything to that effect. Okay then, so I've installed this as best as I can. Ideally, I'll we'll switch to macro. There is still a bit of solution behind here. So these edges will sort of go down over time. But I'm really happy with the fitment of this. Potentially could have got that corner a bit closer, but overall, I'm super, super happy. Again, you can see little bits of air around here, but these will, and here, when you press them, it'll work its way out, as you can see. I'm doing this on the pretty much the hottest day of the year, 30 degrees today, so um, it's probably ideal not to shut the door, leave it for a good few hours, maybe in the sun, I don't know. Uh, just so it can properly uh, wick off or evaporate any solution left behind. But for the first side, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to spin the car around and we'll get to doing the other side. Okay, so again, we're going to take our, well, surface cleaner, degreaser. I'm going to give this a good, good clean. Again, you don't want any oils at all wax, um, anything on this, you know, polish. You want that to be as clean as you possibly can get it. Next, we're gonna spray our slip solution again like so. Grab our piece here, and we're gonna peel off the matte backing. And 
like so. Just liberally spray this as well. And again, line this up. So next step would be, again, to get a towel applicator, squeegee, whatever you want to use. And we're gonna hold down, pull any residue. You can still move it around while it's still got some moisture in there. This is working out really well. I've applied a few bits of PPF before on a Tesla Model 3. Uh, the rear part of the, in the lower part of the car that's prone to getting stone chips. So I've installed a bit of PPF on a Model 3 before and that was relatively easy to do. Um, what's good with PPF as opposed to wrap is you can actually see the bubbles. So on this top part here, as you can see, I'm just going to do it gently. This still moves around a little bit. So you just got to be careful with that. It looks like all the moisture's out of it, but it's not because it's still moving. So again, it's just a case of working any of that slip solution out. And then once, I mean, once the slip solution's worked out and the glue started to activate, you shouldn't have any, it will start to sort of pull itself to the panel. So we're at a stage now where the majority of the solution is out and the adhesive on the back of the PPF itself will now be sort of pulling itself to the panel. Here we go, yeah. And then any few air bubbles you've got will work their way out. Probably an idea to do this in the sunlight. I really wouldn't advise any heat on this. I don't know how PPF works in heat. Um, I know with wrap it will shrink, but with PPF I'm not too sure. So yeah, they have come out really well. So I'm gonna let the the heat do its thing of the sun and sort of evaporate or dry out any solution that's left underneath and um, it should start to wick its way out uh, around the edges I've done the majority of it it does move a little bit but I think that's the glue's not fully activated yet but that will do over time uh, it's probably advisable as well not to close the door just yet uh, you don't want to sort of dislodge anything that you've done and there we have it so there we go as far as I'm aware uh, the solution now will be activating yeah I'm really really happy with that again it is self-healing so I'd imagine if you get scratches on it you can just heat that up with a hairdryer and it will sort of heal itself which is really good so look at that so that will now protect this area. I think it does work its way down here a little bit. Uh, but I think I've caught that just in time. You know, in an ideal world, uh, you'd really want to sort of prepare this area, prepare that, repaint it, that sort of thing, um, you know, paint pen or whatever. But uh, I think I've got that just in time. So this should, this should sort of prevent any future or any further damage to the panel. So as you can see, it's really hot today. It's only taken me about, I'd say, 10 minutes to do both of them. It's uh, it's not a, a laborious task at all. It, you know, it's, and that will prevent so much further damage that, you know, I'd end up having to pay to get done it with bubble, it rust, and that's the last thing I sort of need, really. Um, so I'm gonna leave these doors open for a bit. I might just put them on the latch uh, where the rubber won't make contact with the PPF and just allow it to fully try out before I do shut the doors. Last thing you want is to shut the doors and then the rubber move the, uh, the PPF around. Also, uh, the guys over at uh, IPPS have provided me with a 10% discount code, uh, which is BR10. 
So if you guys want to pick up your own set, uh, they do two different colors. They do two colors. They do two different styles. They do the clear one, which is what I've got. And they also do a matte black one. So if you guys have got, I don't know, if you don't want to see the damage that's underneath the panel or if you've got a darker vehicle, um, you might want to get the matte uh, black one. But they've kindly uh, provided a discount code for you guys, which is BR10. Uh, that'll get you 10% off a kit. Um, I'll provide all the details in the link, uh, well, in the description below. I'll give you a link as well to go over to their website. But a massive thank you to uh, Alex from IPPS uh, for sending me out this kit to do an installation review on. I think it's going to work out really well. Uh, I might do an update video uh, further on down the line, showing off the sort of healing properties uh, of the, um, the PPF if I do end up having to need to heal it so yeah anyway guys thank you for watching the video if you like the video click like if you want to see more videos in the future hit subscribe follow by the notification bell we'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and anyway guys thank you for watching i shall see you all in the next video